Hello adventurous travelers and welcome to Travel Tips and Tricks, your reliable guide in the world of travel. I'm your host, your go-to source for all things travel related. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of off-season travel, unearthing the secrets that could see you saving big on flights and accommodation. While the allure of peak season travel is undeniable, there's a certain charm and a wealth of benefits to be found in venturing out during the off-peak times. Picture this. Same stunning destinations, less crowds, more authenticity, and of course a more relaxed pace. That's right, off-season travel could be the key to unlock a treasure trove of travel experiences without burning a hole in your pocket. So buckle up, pack your adventurous spirit, and join me as we delve into the secrets of traveling off-season to save on flights and accommodation. Let's get started. The first tip for traveling off-season is to take advantage of irresistible deals on accommodation. Yes, you heard that right. When the crowds thin out, hotels and resorts become eager to fill their rooms. And to do this, they often offer significant discounts that are too good to pass up. Imagine this. You're staying at a luxury resort or a charming boutique hotel that would otherwise be way out of your budget during the peak season. Not only do you get to enjoy the same amenities and services, but you do so at a price that's much friendlier to your wallet. Now isn't that a win-win situation? But the deals don't stop at room rates. Many establishments also throw in extra perks to make your stay even more worthwhile. Complimentary breakfasts, free room upgrades, spa discounts. These are just a few of the added bonuses you could enjoy. And let's not forget about vacation rentals. Platforms like Airbnb and Verbo also see a drop in prices during the off-season. So if you prefer a home away from home experience, you could snag a fantastic deal on a cozy cabin, a beachfront condo, or even a city center apartment. Now, if you're worried about the weather spoiling your vacation, don't be. Sure, the off-season may come with less than perfect weather conditions in some destinations, but remember, it's not the same everywhere. Some places have mild off-seasons, so you'll still be able to enjoy your trip without any weather-related hassles. And here's the cherry on top, fewer tourists. With less footfall, you get to avoid those long check-in queues, crowded lobbies, and packed pools. Instead, you'll have more space to unwind and soak in the ambiance. Whether you're lounging by the pool, enjoying a quiet breakfast, or simply relaxing in your room, the peace and quiet will undoubtedly enhance your experience. Plus, you have the advantage of avoiding crowds and enjoying a more peaceful and relaxed experience. Another great benefit of traveling off-season is the availability of cheaper flights. This is a boon that many seasoned travelers swear by. So how does this work exactly? Well, the answer lies in understanding the supply and demand dynamic that governs the airline industry. You see, airlines are businesses, and like any business, they aim to maximize their profits. When the demand for flights is high, during peak travel seasons, airlines have no trouble filling their seats and can afford to charge higher prices. However, when demand drops during the off-season, airlines face the prospect of flying with half-empty planes. This isn't good for business. To avoid this, airlines often resort to reducing their fares during off-peak periods. This strategy serves two purposes. Firstly, it attracts more passengers, helping airlines to fill their planes and cover their costs. Secondly, it encourages people who might not otherwise travel to consider taking a trip, thereby creating new demand. So, what does this mean for you as a traveler? Cheaper flights? Yes, you heard it right. Traveling off-season means you can often find significantly reduced airfares, for instance, a flight that might cost you a small fortune during the summer could be available for a steal in the fall or spring, but that's not all. In addition to lower fares, off-season travel often comes with other perks such as greater seat availability, less crowded airports, and more personalized service. You might also find it easier to accumulate airline reward points, as many airlines offer bonus points during off-peak periods to encourage travel. Now, it's important to remember that not all off-peak periods are created equal. The off-season for airlines can vary depending on the route and destination, so it's always a good idea to do a little research before booking your flight. In conclusion, this means you can find much cheaper airfares and book your flights without breaking the bank. So next time you're planning a trip, why not consider traveling off-season? You might be surprised at the savings you can make. And last but not least, Traveling off-season gives you the opportunity to enjoy popular tourist attractions without overwhelming crowds. Picture this. Instead of standing shoulder to shoulder with throngs of tourists, you have the space and freedom to fully appreciate the spectacle before your eyes. Whether it's the breathtaking beauty of a natural landscape, 
the awe-inspiring architecture of a historic monument, or the fascinating exhibits of a world-class museum, you get to savor each moment in peace and tranquility. Now imagine having the best view of the sunrise over a serene beach, or being the only one on a hiking trail in a lush forest, or having an ancient ruin all to yourself for an entire afternoon. Sounds dreamy, doesn't it? Well, that's the magic of off-season travel. During peak tourist seasons, popular attractions can be overcrowded, and sometimes the sheer number of people can detract from the overall experience. It can be challenging to truly connect with a place when you're constantly jostling for space with hundreds, if not thousands, of fellow tourists. But when you travel off-season, the situation is entirely different. Suddenly, the world feels like your oyster. You can meander through quaint cobblestone streets, linger in charming cafes, and explore enchanting castles at your own pace without feeling rushed or overwhelmed. Moreover, this lack of crowds also translates into shorter lines, less waiting, and more time to enjoy the attractions that you've traveled so far to see. No more wasting precious vacation time standing in queues or navigating through hordes of people. Furthermore, when there are fewer tourists, you're more likely to have genuine interactions with locals. You'll get to hear their stories, learn about their culture, and maybe even pick up a few words of their language. These meaningful connections can greatly enrich your travel experience and create memories that last a lifetime. In a nutshell, off-season travel offers a more relaxed, immersive, and intimate exploration of your chosen destination. It's a chance to experience the world as it truly is, without the distraction of bustling crowds. It's a truly invaluable experience. In addition to saving on flights and accommodation, traveling off-season also allows you to enjoy local cuisine at lower prices. Now let's be honest, food is a huge part of the travel experience. It's a way to immerse ourselves in the culture, to explore new flavors, and satisfy our adventurous palates. But dining out doesn't have to put a dent in your wallet, especially not when you're traveling off-season. You see, just as hotels and airlines, restaurants too feel the ebb and flow of tourist traffic. During peak seasons, they're bustling with diners, but off-peak, things slow down a bit. And to keep those tables filled, many restaurants offer special menus and promotions during these quieter periods. So not only do you get to relish in the local cuisine, you get to do so at a bargain. Imagine this, you're in Italy, it's off-season. You walk into a quaint trattoria, and there, on the menu, a discounted three-course meal featuring some of the region's best dishes. You indulge in a caprese salad with ripe tomatoes, fresh mozzarella and fragrant basil. Then you move on to a hearty plate of pasta, cooked to perfection, and tossed in a mouth-watering tomato sauce. And for dessert, a creamy tiramisu that simply melts in your mouth. Now isn't that a feast fit for a king, but without the royal price tag? But it's not just about the discounts. Off-season also means fewer tourists. And fewer tourists mean more opportunities to interact with locals, to get recommendations for the best spots in town, the hidden gems that aren't in your guidebook. It's the chance to connect with the culture on a deeper level, to turn meals into memorable experiences. So, remember traveling off-season is not just about the savings, it's about the experiences, the stories, the memories. It's about tasting the world one dish at a time without breaking the bank. You can taste culinary delights without spending a fortune. So, next time you're planning your trip, don't forget to factor in the off-season dining benefits. Because who doesn't love a good meal at a great price? Lastly, remember that traveling off-season not only helps you save money, but also allows you to enjoy a more authentic and relaxed travel experience. We've covered some key points today. First, we've seen how irresistible deals on accommodation can make your stay more affordable and peaceful. Next, we delved into cheaper flights being a significant advantage of off-season travel, a strategy that can take you to your dream destinations without draining your wallet. We also discussed how avoiding the crowds at popular tourist spots can give you a more serene and enjoyable experience. And let's not forget the opportunity to savor local cuisine at lower prices, making your gastronomic journey equally budget-friendly. Off-season travel is indeed a secret pathway to wonderful experiences that are easy on the pocket. So, on your next travel planning session, consider this strategy and open up a world of opportunities and savings. See you on the next adventure!